GR number 225743, People of the Philippines vs. Sandy Domingo, E. Labis, June 7, 2007. The elements of forcible abduction. Number one, the taking of a woman against her will. And number two, with lewd designs. The facts of the case. AAA is a sales lady in a public market in Rosario, Cavite. The complainant was waiting for her cousin to fetch her when a palant, who worked in a fish stall in the market, approached her and asked if he could accompany private complainant to her aunt's home. The two then boarded the tricycle. As they were about to leave, a palant brought out a bladed weapon and poked the same on AAA's right waist. Struck with fear, AAA was unable to ask for help. They stopped at a place that was not familiar to her, with a palant still holding the knife and poking it against AAA's waist. The two went inside the house and entered a room where she was raped. After complainant was ravaged, she told him that she wants to go home. He answered that he will let her go if she will not tell anybody what happened. At around 3 in the morning, they went out of the house and headed towards the tricycle terminal. She went home and told her aunt what happened. Thereafter, they went to the police station to report the incident. The appellant was convicted by the Regional Trial Court of the crime of forcible abduction with rape, defined and penalized under Article 342 in relation to Article 266A as amended by RA 8353 and Article 48 of the Revised Penal Code. The issue is whether or not there is a complex crime of forcible abduction with rape. The court's ruling. Although the elements of forcible abduction obtained, the appellant should be convicted only of rape. His forcible abduction of AAA was absorbed by the rape considering that his real objective in abducting her was to commit the rape, where the main objective of the culprit for the abduction of the victim of rape was to have carnal knowledge of her he could be convicted only of rape.